come here because the hydrotherapy is having more of an impact on me than the regular physical therapy I was doing. I'm achieving things faster here and with less pain. Uh, we saw improvement the first afternoon compared to the physical therapy the routes that I was going. I was able to do some things that because of being a weightlessness here that I was able not able to do a physical therapy and made a big difference. What Plus being in pools like playtime for me. Okay, what's the most enjoyable thing that you do here? When I come here is being able to walk like I can normally walk. The hydro the hydro treadmills, I'm really it's like I'm walking because I'm initiating movement. So it's like I walked before my stroke. I'd hurry up and get in here. It makes a difference when you're weightless, how you can do things like you used to do, which makes you feel like you used to feel. It's a big deal. All right. So far I've seen. Tell me why you think underwater treadmills would be a great place to improve cardiovascular health. Okay, first, Michael, I just want to congratulate you because this is something that I've been looking for for over 20 years. I did my training at the uh, Center for Life, and we used to use underwater treadmills all the time for our cardiac rehab patients as well as obese patients and other patients with arthritis. The other benefit of the uh, underwater treadmill is for patients who can, cannot tolerate heat or need low-impact exercise. And so the cardiovascular conditioning that they achieve from that is equal or even better sometimes than that from a traditional treadmill because they're able to exercise longer and we're able to actually build up their endurance and by doing that we enhance their cardiovascular health, muscle tone, decrease their heart rate, improve their blood pressure. So overall it, it gives us an excellent cardiovascular effect. I have osteoporosis, I have stenosis, degenerative disc disease. I've had two back surgeries with fusions and laminectomies. I've been doing water aerobics for 14 years because in the water it's easier than on land. I've noticed a huge difference compared to regular water aerobics because I have less pain while I'm in the pool, less pain afterwards, and my posture has improved. I'm not as tired, and I'm not taking as many pain pills. And I love going on the treadmill because my big goal is to walk. And I ran on the treadmill today for a mile. So that was a big thing. Well, I have to brag about the owner because he's very supportive, very caring, spends a lot of time with you, um, very knowledgeable. So um, I, I just think it's a great facility. People are real enthusiastic. They're kind of rooting for you, and that's important. Thank you, Mary. Well, I have RSD, and I have been fighting this disease for over four years. I have in the past had over 60 physical therapy visits that were not successful, and I was looking for something that would help me be able to possibly get out of the wheelchair. And I have found that by doing the therapy here at Angle Warm Water, I am more apt to stay with the program, and I feel already after just one week tremendous benefits. I have been able to tell such a difference in such a short period of time. And as far as the money, I don't think anybody can put a price on what someone would be willing to pay to be able to say, I no longer have to have a wheelchair. I am the mom of a little girl named Carly, and she's six years old. She has spinal muscular atrophy, type two, and she is in a wheelchair. And we were, she was diagnosed at around age two. Um, we've done lots of therapies, um, you know, regular physical therapy, horse therapy, uh, different things. The opportunity came open to um, have water therapy, and um, it's been a blessing um, because it gives her freedom um, to be able to be in the pool and to stretch her muscles in ways that she hasn't been able to stretch them. And, um, so H3O has provided a lot of new um, therapy opportunities, but also freedom for our daughter. Um, because I think that's the one thing that was lacking where she feels kind of 
secluded in her wheelchair, the things that she can and cannot do, um, the water provides her world. Okay, I just had my annual physical and the results were all so good that the doctor told me that unless something were to come up, I'm going to have to go back for a year. My cholesterol was down, my blood pressure is way down, my general being is way up. Probably haven't been able to walk more than a few blocks in the last 10, 15 years because of arthritis all over my body. And so I started about five, six weeks ago using the underwater. This morning I did 2.7 miles. And Thursday I'm hoping to do my first ever 5K. Several doctors have told me use it or lose it. And I don't want to end up in a wheelchair with all the arthritis I have. And so I started coming here and I love it. The warm water has done wonders for my arthritis. I'm just excited to be here, trying new things, see what, where it goes from here. All right, thank you. Right, all you got. Good job, man. <laughs> Left. Wow. Right, all you got. Make sure you throw them down. Heel first. Bring it up, throw it down. Up, throw it down. Great job, man. You're at a 1.3 miles an hour. That's great, man. That's a casual stroll. I was just walking by myself, really. I mean, I was putting my left in front of my right just like before. Just, it's incredible. I mean, I'm, it boosts my confidence a lot. Last week I didn't have a really good day last time, but just, just really brought it up. I feel really good. Now, this, this is what, my fourth time? Okay. Yeah, this is my fourth time. Okay, wow. All right, thank you. Uh, my therapy is kind of a joint with all the physical therapists, just whoever's available. Uh, they help me with walking better and applying more pressure to my leg. Uh, also with uh, gaining back some mileage because I was a runner and I'd love to return to that. Uh, my condition is called CRPS. It's complex or chronic regional pain syndrome. and. The warm pool helps me a lot with relaxing my leg because it'll get really tense from all the different signals from my nervous system. Well, I've had this condition for about eight months and I've been coming here for three, I think, three months. And this is such a different thing than the land therapy because with CRPS, different textures of the floor, different uh, putting pressure on it on land is a lot harder for us with CRPS than it is for other people who simply have a knee replacement. While that can be hard, we ours is harder for a different reason. And in the water, you have less uh, pressure on the bottom of your foot. It's also the uniform flat texture on the bottom, and it's a lot less agitating. I enjoy coming here for the simple fact that it is helping me so much. I have what's called interstitial cystitis, I see for, for short, and it involves the whole pelvic floor. It, since I started coming here, you can barely, barely feel any knots in my legs. I can tell a difference in my, the way I walk, the way I feel, I just have more energy, and it, it's just all good. I don't have any pain. For the first time in years and years and years and years, I am pain free. And I attribute a lot of that to coming here. Um, I've been doing therapy for I don't even know how many years now and I've kind of been burnt out on the therapy scene. And so uh, I thought it'd be cool to start water therapy because it's something different and it's useful and um, it's less pressure on my joints. And it, I've obviously gained a lot more strength um, with stairs definitely and um, it's a, like I said it's a lot less pressure on my joints and so it's easier to do a lot more than I normally could on land. Two main things I come here for is CRPS which is complex regional pain syndrome and fibromyalgia and so um, the warm water is very good for me because I can't do cold temperatures and so I can actually get in the water and do therapy as much as I need to. Thank you very much. Thank you. About two years ago, and I threw my back out, L4 and L5 shifted, and I basically was not able to walk. Um, by coming here using a massage bed, it loosened up my muscles enough to where when I went to the chiropractor for my adjustments, it, it helped the adjustment drastically. Um, 
even though some of that got straightened out real quick, I was still having a hard time walking was in pain. So you put me in the pool, instead of having me walk on the treadmills, gave me some exercises to do to try to put some strength back in the back or keep those muscles loose as I was moving. And within two months, I was actually walking again and had to get rid and got rid of the cane. Now my next experience here is going to be come to work out, uh, maybe firm up a little bit, lose a little bit of weight, and looking forward to it.